What's going on guys? It's Shape Dog Game with Who's United Bio Building and I'm gonna make a, another chicken pizza today. But for this time I used 275 grams of cauliflower and then just three servings of egg whites and that's it. And I don't know the seasonings too, but I didn't put any cheese or anything in it. And I actually cooked it for at 450 for a good half hour or so. And I'll show you what it looks like. Take it out of the oven here. So, boom. This is what crust looks like. Um, I just flipped it. And uh, so that's this was the bottom. So that, that's the top right there. I was just trying to toast the top a little bit more by flipping it over and putting the bottom rack. But anyway, so today I got a serving of this uh, tomato basil sauce. I'm going to use it's lower in fat. It's zero fat, seven carb, and two protein. So I got half a serving right here. So about you know three carbs. One, one gram is a protein, and we'll see how this spreads for us. If I need to add more, I'll always add more. So, unlike the other uh, Alfredo, chicken Alfredo pizza I made yesterday, uh, this one's going to be lower in fat and carbs, just because I didn't put the cheese in the crust, and uh, using, using lower fat uh, sauce. Okay. I'm gonna put. I'm, I'm just gonna. There we go. Looks like a good amount of sauce there. Just spread it around evenly. And today, I, I have uh, some green pepper and onion. I'm gonna throw in here. Oh, also some, some spinach. There we go. It's good. Good base for your sauce, right there. Um, got my chicken already prepared. I diced it all up earlier, so I'm just gonna throw this on here. This is about five ounces of chicken. Yes, or in the other pizza I used about eight ounces, just because you know I wanted to hide a little more hard protein, but five is good enough, guys. ounces that it. Okay. Next we got some onion already chopped up. I'm just gonna throw it on here. So this all uh, uh, meal prepping is very important uh, during the week. As you see uh, you can just pull the stuff out and just throw it on in your meals with no problem easy. Here's some pepper that we diced up earlier. We like to do our meal prep on uh, Sundays to get ready for the week. Just makes everything run a lot smoother and easier. And I'm not really measuring uh, the, you know, the pepper and onion just because there's minimal carbs in them anyway. And then I'm just gonna throw in some mushrooms. Again, you know, there's minimal uh, carbs and protein in mushrooms, so now you're gonna sweat weighing them. I did weigh last time for the pizza a serving, which was two carbs and two protein, so not as a hell of a lot more than what I just put on there. And some spinach. Alright. Just about a good amount of spinach. You don't I mean you need a lot. Just to make it look pretty. Add some color to 
to your dish here. Okay, I just want to press it all down. Alright. I am going to weigh the cheese out. There I got serving this Sargento Arison mozzarella provolone cheese right here. One serving, 20 grams. Just going to sprinkle it on here. Just to help, uh, you know, help combine everything and make it look like more of a pizza. Again, you can use whatever kind of toppings you want. I use the same bowl for the sauce, so that's why it's sticking. And that's it. I'm going to throw it back in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes. Just let, let everything kind of mesh together, bake together. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, check that pizza out. God, the crust is perfect. I mean,. Can't get much perfect than that. It's only my second time making these kind of pizzas, cauliflower pizzas. And I'm getting to, to be an expert. All right, so the macros on this. Um, so I put all of my fitness pal, and it came to 436 cows. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but I just quick added all the macros from all the ingredients I put in them in the pizza. And so protein came to, for the whole pizza, came to 65.1 grams, 23.8 carbs, and 9 grams of fat for the whole pizza. So per slice, I'm going to make 8 slices, um, 8.1 grams of protein, 2.9 grams of carbs, so I'll just say 3 carbs, and 1 gram of fat. That is pretty low fat, low carb, high protein pizza right there. You cannot make that any... I mean, you could get some fat free cheese, maybe, or, I don't, I mean, that's the only way to make that lower in fat, lower in carb. So, I'm going to enjoy this. Um, I'm going to cut up and enjoy a slice. Be right back. Alright guys, that cut pretty damn easy. I mean, without any effort. Look how well that holds up. I mean, you can't get... I mean, this is much better than uh, the other day pizza I made. The crust it just fell apart. This crust is holding together strong, guys. Alright. There we go. My hands. Still pretty hot. I just pulled it out of the oven, but... Mmm. Oh yeah. That's pretty good pizza. Mm. One thing I forgot. Just put a little bit of Italian seasoning on that bitch. On top here. There. That's pretty. Alright guys. Looking, I'm gonna give you a little update shot here. Weighed uh, 193.1 today, so I'm getting getting pretty lean, guys. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know. Uh, try this pizza out. Um, it's great for you know if you're dieting, you just need lower carbs, lower fat. Um, it's a great way to get you know get full. I'm definitely full after I eat it. Um, and there's you know make two meals out of it. I mean it's cheap, easy. I want to say quick. It took like an hour you know to cook it all. But I mean if you have it all prepped, it take like four to five minutes. I mean can't get much easier or lower carb, low fat than that. So. Check out my other uh, videos, cooking videos, my training videos, my 
whatever videos, go ahead and check them out. And uh, I'm going to enjoy my lunch here. And we'll see you guys next time. Shape Dog with Hujinae Bio Building signing out. Go ahead, uh, subscribe, like, comment, and we'll see you next time. Peace.